Hello everybody, hey Mario Sunshine here, and today's my birthday, so for a birthday video, I'm going to do my top 15 favorite video games of all time. So it's my opinion on what's my favorite, it's not my favorite, it's not the best, but it's my favorite. So we're going to start with number 15, we have a tie for number 15 actually, it's a tie between Lu Luigi's Mansion and Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, yes, these two games are in a tie, because I don't know which one to choose. They're both great. They're both unique in their very own ways. I, both of them had two different things I liked. Uh, Luigi's Mansion ha was great. It was short, but great. Luigi's Mansion 2, like, perfected what Luigi's Mansion did, but did a little better. But they deserve the tie. And also, it's a player's choice. Okay, we're moving on to number 14. We got... My favorite Game Boy game of all time, Mario Tennis Power Tour. Yes, this game is one of my favorite Game Boy games, and it's pro probably my favorite favorite out of all the series. So yeah, we're gonna be moving on to uh number thirteen, which is Super Mario RPG, which is on my virtual console. Number twelve, we have. Mario Kart Double Dash, which I cannot find its location. Moving on to number 11, we got Super Mario 64. Yes, when I first saw this game, I was... Uh, I played this game when I was young. Oh, yeah, it's kind of scratched up. I'm not sure who did that. But, yeah. Ah, oh, great game. I love it. I have it on Virtual Console. Had it the DS version, and yeah. Next up is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. You may be shit saying, why isn't this higher on the list? Well, I did... Well, it's not really my favorite Zelda game, but it's close. Uh, coming at number 10, we have Mario and Luigi Dream Team New Game. As we all know, uh, yeah, this game, I think, it's better than Bow Inside Bowser's... Wait, Bowser's... Wait, Inside Bowser's Story... I don't know why, but they seem equally matched, but when it comes to music, that was more rememberable. Like, they were equally matched. Gameplay, everything. But when it came to music, it came down to to just uh, to Mario and Luigi Dream Team. I love the music in there, especially Stand Up and Fight Luigi when Luigi, when you have to transform Luigi into a, a giant. I love that music. And, yeah, we're moving on to number nine. We got Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Uh, this game, when I bought it, I was like, oh, sweet, this is going to be a great game. And it was very, I loved it a lot. I love the new Kirby Powers. It's probably the first ever Kirby game I ever finished. So, yeah. But it's not my first ever Kirby game. We're moving on to number eight, and we have Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which I can't find the cover for. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I told you on my Paper Mario videos that this was one of my favorite games, and yet it gets number eight. Uh, this is the same copy I use to play, uh, whenever, whenever I am, uh, recording, so yeah. Uh, next up on number seven, we got Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Yeah, I, per I do have the Dreamcast version, but I just prefer the Adventure DX because I can connect it to my Game Boy and get the chat and have the Child Garden there. Uh, I love the story modes for each character, except Big the Cat. I, I don't know why Big the Cat was actually easy. Okay, moving on to number six, we got my favorite Zelda game of all time, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Yep, and I'm getting the HD one for my uncle. Yes. Oh, yeah. A fact, oh, yeah, another thing, there is no, my, yeah. No, no, there's no fact, but I, yeah, Wind Waker, uh, I got it, I, wa there was, like, two different types of Wind Wakers, actually, there was one that GameStop was selling, that it came with, a uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask with it, not the Nintendo 64 versions, like, you know, the ones that they put the Master Quest and the Majora's Mask on the GameCube version, yeah. Next up on number five, you may be shocking, Pikmin 3. When I saw this game, I fell in love. I'm obsessed with it, and it just came one of my favorites very easily. Gameplay's great. Music's great. Like, everything about it is awesome. I love it. 
Anyways, moving on to number four was one of my childhood games, Kirby's Air, Kirby Air Ride. Now, you may be thinking, uh, why is this on the list? It's not that much of a good game if you check the ratings. Oh, yeah, that's like a little smudge. I'm not sure where the heck that came from. I think it came from a guinea pig. I don't know. But Kirby Air... Kirby Air Ride was my childhood game. Uh, it was probably one of the first few racing games I ever played. And it was my probably my first ever Kirby game I ever played. So, that's why I love it. Ne number three, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now, Super Mario Galaxy is not on this list. Yeah, it's not even close. Super Mario Galaxy 2 perfected what Super Mario Galaxy didn't. And Super Mario Galaxy 2 was probably the first ever Super Mar uh, Mario 3D game that I completed with 100%. Uh, I would have completed Sunshine, but I was missing one blue coin. Yeah, upsetting. Oh yeah, fun fact about Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, I had a I had to take out something on the next episode. Uh I did record me fighting uh the boss. I defeated it, I got dull experience, then I got kill killed by uh, I had one HP because a chain chomp attacked me and uh, I had one HP, the audience threw a rock and without me noticing, and I got killed. A game over, I didn't have any more live streams. So, yeah, kind of upsetting, but I'm going to t do another recording. Yeah, I delete the video. I wished I saved it just to show you how upsetting that was. Next up, on number two, we have Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Now... Super Smash Bros. Brawl, well, it do well, Melee does come close, but Melee, I don't have, and I wish I had. But Melee would have been tied with Brawl for number two. Brawl, I played with many, many hours. I got it for a good deal, $40 at GameStop. Beautiful, I love the game, but the one thing I hated about it was the online play. And plus, uh, look at they look more realistic. Their clothes lines and all that stuff look more realistic. That's why I'm waiting for Super Smash Bros. U and 3DS. They look more like their character selves. Now, let's have a recap of what we did. Number 15, a tie between Luigi's Mansion and Dark Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Number 14, uh... Yeah, you pro just rewind the video to know the rest. So, yeah. Uh, well, let's mention some very honorable, uh, things, shall we? Uh, Pokemon, Pokemon Crystal would have made it on the list, but it's just that I love Mario games more than Pokemon games, so so po Pokemon Crystal makes it a number 16. Another honorable mention is Mario Kart 7 and Super Mario 3D Land. Great games, but wasn't close enough. And finally, uh, Ocarina of Time and Met Super Metroid come in as well. I love those games, but it's just not my, my favorites. So anyways, time for my number one game of all time. Now, this may be shocking to you, but my favorite game of all time is Super Mario Sunshine. Woohoo! Yep, it is my favorite game of all time. Here's reasons why. Super Mario Sunshine is my favorite game of all time. Super Mario Sunshine, that's the game that made me play. This was the first ever 3D Mario game I ever played. Before Super Mario 64, I played Sunshine, and Sunshine fell in love with the old overworld very easily, and it was probably the very first 3D Mario game I ever completed. Like, just not 100% but I completed, like, defeated Bowser and everything. I instantly fell in love, and really, I, lo I love the mechanic of the flood, everything. I love it. I love the storyline. And takes place in an island just like that's why dark dream teams are on the list because dream team takes place in Pil pilico island pillow island whatever it's called it takes place in a new area so you're just wondering what is in this new world and yeah i love the boss battles music everything like super mario sunshine is definitely my top one favorite video game of all time and I love it deep to my heart. That's why it's my number one favorite game of all time. Yeah, I love also messing around with the game as well. Like doing glitches that like kind of is weird. Like getting underwater with the log. Or or doing that one glitch with Invisible Delfino. Yeah. 
So anyways, love my videos with that like button and make sure to sub if you want to subscribe to my channel. So yeah. Hi, the, yeah, Super Mario Sunshine is my favorite video game of all time. Now that and happy birthday to me, and it'll soon be my three-year anniversary that's coming up next. So this was my birthday video, and we're going to be recording lots on October nineteenth. So prepare for a marathon of lots of recording and reviews as well. See you guys then.